So when you first start out with 3D, it's very important that you animate some human skulls, because if you don't, then what's this all been for? What are we doing here? In this video, I will show you how to create this glowing edge effect on this skull. So you can get this skull from the link in the description. First, I will add this under a Voronoi Fracture object, and I will add this rigid body tag to this, so that when I play the animation, this skull separates and falls down. Next, I will turn off these colorized fragments and I will create two materials. I will go in here, click this selection and uh, select this inside faces so that a selection is made. Next, I will add this material to the skull and also this one to the skull. This one is gonna be for the inside edges. Now I have to drag this in here and now if the skull separates, uh, you can't see it right now, but if you, I change the color of this material, this you can see that the inside edges are in a different color. Now, if I want these edges to glow, I will go in this material editor and I will search for this incandescent material. I will click enter and I will add this to the surface. And now, if I go in this redshift render view and I play the animation some frames forward, you can see that the inside part is white. Now, I will just add a plane and a redshift, redshift uh, sky object. Next, I will just turn this off so that only the light from the sky remains. And I will drag this intensity down a bit so it's easier to see the light coming from the inside of this skull. Now I will create one more material for the plane. I will go in here and I will disable this diffuse channel and I will give the reflection some roughness so you can see the re reflection of the skull on this plane. And I will increase this plane in size for, for some, some centimeters. That was a great sentence. Next, I will add this collider tag to this plane. And now if I play the animation, you can see that the skull is falling down and there's this light coming from the inside of it. Next, I will add this standard redshift camera. I will go in this uh, bloom effect. I will click this enable and override. And now I will drag this all the way down. And now, if I play the animation, you can see that there's some, there's this glowing effect coming, this glowing light effect coming to, uh, to the camera. And I, if I increase this intensity, it will become more intense. And that's it. You can go in here and change some of these settings. You can uh, change this to temperature and you can uh, drag it to the left side and it will become warmer and to the right side it will become uh, colder and bluer, uh, get a bluish color. Now you can also go in here and change this back to color and change this for, to something like green for example. So that's it. What do you want to see next? Just write that in the comments because I will be listening and I will be watching and I will be doing some more tutorials.